like another short podcast on costs, revenue and break-even analysis. Right, we're going to look at business costs. Uh, and we know that costs are divided into fixed costs, which are those which stay the same, importantly, regardless of the level of output. Examples including rent, insurance and marketing. Variable costs are those which do change as the level of output changes. Things like raw materials and packaging. Total costs we find by adding fixed costs and variable costs. Right, let's construct our break-even chart then. We'll start with costs and revenue on the y-axis, output on the x-axis, then fixed costs, total costs, total revenue, and the point where total revenue equals total costs is break-even point. This is shown in green on the chart, and this is the amount of output the firm needs to sell to cover all of its costs. If the firm produces more than this level of output, then it's in a position where it's making a profit, whereas if it produces less than break-even level of output, it's making a loss. Right, let's consider what happens if this firm decides to increase price. And what we see is that the TR line pivots to the left, and we have a new lower break-even level of output. Right, this has obviously got some important implications for a business because it, what it means is, as I've just said, if the business is prepared to increase its price, it can break even by selling less. That's surely better for the business. However, as you've probably already realised, there are some problems with that rather simplistic analysis. What you need to realise and what I'm sure you understand is that increasing price, yes, it will cause the total revenue line to pivot and it will mean that the business can produce less to break even. However, logic will suggest that charging a high price is not a simple strategy to solve all, all the business's problems. What if it operates in a really competitive market? Charging a higher price, it might result in, in very much fewer sales. Depends how many competitors it has. It might end up not selling enough to break even at all. So assuming that you can simply increase price to reduce your break even level of output is simplistic and you need to be aware of it and you need to avoid asserting that in any sort of exam question. Right, I want you to consider a few more questions now. Uh, get yourself a sheet of paper, get yourself a nice sharp pencil and I want you to consider other ways in which a business could reduce its break even level of output. As with most other pieces of theory that, we, that we've done in business and economics, practice makes perfect. Get practice in drawing some break-even charts, demand and supply charts. In this case, show another strategy on your um, break-even chart and then end it by com assessing the strategy you have chosen. What's good about it? What's bad about it? Final reminder, keep an eye on that VLE for tasks that are constantly being added and happy revising.